Hello everyone welcome to unlock maths today we have to discuss particular integral when we have this x is equals to x raised to m now here m is positive integer now that means x is of this form we can take example here yes x is of this form that means we can say that x is polynomial in x right so now here we have to find pi so we have the formula for pi yes so now here we have to operate this 1 upon f of d on x raised to m so what we have to do first we have to express this f of d as a 1 plus phi of d yes and how to express this f of d as a this 1 plus phi of d yes we have to take outside lowest degree terms from f of d so first here yes we have to express f of d as a 1 plus phi of d and we can write this is here by taking lowest degree term yes we can take one example here if we have f of d as a Yes, we have to express this is as a 1 plus. So, what will we do here? We have this 4 is lowest degree term. So, we will take this is 4 outside. So, we will have here. What is this? This is as a 1 plus phi of d, right? We have expressed this f of d as a 1 plus phi of d. Now, next what we have to do? We have to take this 1 plus phi of d in numerator. So, that this is now with negative index yes then we have to make the use of binomial expansion yes what we have done here take this 1 plus phi of d in a numerator with negative index and then use binomial expansion Yes, we have to expand this 1 plus phi of d by using binomial expansion and then we have to operate this on x raised to m and then we will get required pi. Yes, so what is here? Yes, here we have to use binomial expansion. So, we will write down which binomial expansion we have to use here. So, yes, we have this one 1 minus x raised to minus 1. So, this one is here. Yes. Next, we have this one. This is 1 plus x raised to minus 1. So, here we have this is 1 minus x plus x square minus x cube plus x raised to 4 and so on. Here we have alternate plus minus sign. Yes. When we have minus, we have all plus sign here and when we have 1 plus x raised to minus 1, here we have to use alternate plus minus sign, right? We have to expand this is by using this expansion, then we have to operate that expansion on this x raised to m. Then we have to use this result, yes. When we expand this expansion which is in terms of d, we have to operate that expansion on this x raised to m. Then with the help of this result, we have to find the required pi. So what is this result here? What does this mean? Yes, derivative x double derivative that is 0, right? x square its third derivative is 0. So, in this way we have to use this result here. Then we will get required pi. Now we have to solve one example to understand this rule. Yes, we, here we have to find the pi of this one. So, yes, what is its operator form? Yes, now we have to find the pi. So, we will write down what is f of d and this is x. 
Yes. Now what we have to do? We have to express this f of d as a 1 plus phi of d. And how to do this one? We have to take the lowest degree term outside from this f of d. So that we have here. Yes, this one. Right? Then we have to take this 1 plus phi of d in numerator. So now this one is with negative index. Now we have to use the binomial expansion. So what we have here, we have 1 minus x raised to minus 1. And what is its expansion? Here we have minus. So here we will have all plus sign here. Yes. So yes, we will write down this expansion here. Yes. Now we have to use this result here. This is that means when we take the derivative of x raised to m which is higher order than this x raised to m we will get derivative 0 right. So now here we can check that here we have this term here 1 plus x minus x square that means here we have this is third derivative of x square is 0 that means we have to expand this binomial expansion up to d square. So yes now we have to expand this bracket here. When we expand this one we will get the terms of d cube and when we operate terms of d cube on this one that will get 0. So yes we have this is here 0. Now again we can check that here we have solved this bracket right we have expand this one and we have write down this is here 0 because when we expand this is we will get the terms of d cube and d cube and higher than that d cube right and when we operate d cube d raised to 4 on this one we will get 0 we will get the derivative 0 so that we have write down all this is here 0. Now we have to simplify this one. Yes, now we will get only this term here. We will write down only this term because when we operate this d raised to 4 and d cube on this one, we will get other terms 0. So we will write down this one only here. Yes, now we have to simplify next this one. Yes, here we have two terms of d square. So we will write down that is closer. So we have here this 1 by 2 plus 1 by 4 when we take d square common from this one and we have this 1 by 2 plus 1 by 4 this is here. Yes. So now yes. Yes. Now we operate this derivative on this function. So we will have here yes first this is first we will operate this one into with this one then we have this d by 2 with this one next 3 by 4 into d square on this function so on simplification yes we can check that here we have yes now we have to operate the derivative on this one, right? d is a derivative and we have to operate on this one. So here we have this is derivative of 1, 0. Derivative of x, this is 1 and this is minus 2x. Next here we have, we have to operate, this is d square on this one. That means this is double derivative, right? So double derivative of 1, this is 0. Double derivative of x, this is 0. And this one is here we have minus 2. Yes, x square first derivative. Yes, this is twice x and double derivative of x square. This is first derivative twice x and twice x is derivative 2, right? 
so in this way we have simplified this one again next here we can write on simplification yes we have done the simplification of this is now we can check that plus x and minus x get cancel so here we have this is minus x square this is plus 1 and this is we get here yes so yes we can check that we got this one and this is our required yes this is we got required pi so in this way we have find the pi for given differential equation yes what we have done here first when we have this is x we have to express this f of d as a 1 plus phi of d then we have to take this 1 plus phi of d in numerator then we have to use binomial expansion after that we have to use this so that we will get this required pi so in this way we have find pi for this given differential equation now here we have this examples yes yes we can check that here all this is here of this form x raised to m yes we have seen working procedure for this case x raised to m so yes we can find the solution of this differential equation now try this example by yourself and answer is given here so yes in this way we have discussed this case x is equals to x raised to m yes and we have to remember this binomial expansion and this result here so yes that's it for now see you in the next video thank you keep watching